photosynthesis, oxygenic photosynthesis, and anoxygenic photosynthesis. Today we are going over oxygenic photosynthesis and explain how it occurs in this process. Oxygenic photosynthesis is a reaction where light energy transfers the electron to water into carbon dioxide, which turns into carbohydrates. Photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide to occur, and it releases oxygen as a response. The 6ZO2 plus 12H2 plus light energy turns into C6H12O6 plus 6H2O2 plus 6H2O is the chemical equation of oxygenic photosynthesis. In plants, there are pigments that trap light and gives color to the plant. The most popular being chlorophyll, which gives the plant a green color. Chloroplasts also play a main role in photosynthesis as they are similar to mitochondria as being a powerful system. Chloroplasts release electron when a photon hits it, and the electron will travel through the plant, which will generate energy for its protein and cells. Scientists have found ways to generate clean energy using artificial photosynthesis on various electric thermal conditions. They also use nanowires to trigger artificial photosynthesis in many microbes. <clears throat> I'm doing my project on uh, fire retardant. A fire retardant is a substance that is used to slow or stop the spread of fire or reduce its intensity. This is commonly accomplished by chemical reactions that reduce the flammability of fuels or delay their combustion. Fire retardants may also cool the fuel through physical action or endothermic uh, chemical reactions. Industrial flame retardant chemicals like polybromate brominated uh, diphenyl ethers, which is the organic compound well, with the formula C6H6O. Uh, it is a colorless solid too. Um, and they are added to uh, everyday consumer products such as electronics, upholstered furniture, vehicles, and clothing in the name of fire safety. Scientific research has increasingly shown However, that, however, that chemical uh, flame retardants do more harm than good. Many argue that these chemicals do not provide adequate protection from fire, and ongoing research has shown that they are, they are toxic to humans and persist in our environment. While fire safety is a serious concern, there are chemical-free approaches in uh, prevention. Breaking news, a vehicle equipped with airbags has saved a life. Airbags are bags that inf inflate when you get into an accident. They are supposed to protect you so that if you get ejected from a motorcycle, the airbag is supposed to help protect you so you don't get injured badly. Airbags are also used in cars and they protect your body from getting ejected out of a window. The equation of the chemical reaction is NaN3 equals Na plus N2. It is a decomposition reaction type. To balance the equation, Na and NaN3 both need to have a 2, and N2 needs to have a 3. The reactants in the equation are sodium azide, sodium, and nitrogen gas. The only negative impacts of the airbags is that it can cause itchy or watery eyes and throat irritation. The only way to really minimize the negative impacts are if you don't get into accidents.